What's up guys, God's Leap back with another video. In this video, we're talking all things Zer. He is here yet again in the reef. I really wish he's down at the boom box in uh, the tower, but you know, that's always just wishing for me because he's rarely ever there. I think he was there like twice in the whole last year, but whatever, I don't even care anymore. Let's just go in here and check this stuff out. This week, it's, it's kind of a bland, meh week. Uh, he does have, I think, at least one decent thing out of all this stuff, maybe two or whatever, but other than that, it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, let's start up here. Uh, Legacy Ingram, of course, this is not a regular Ingram. It's not going to give you regular light. It's going to be about 160, 170 plus possibly. Um, this is going to be your year one stuff. Maybe if you don't have, if you think this is the only way you can get it, maybe try it. But 31 strange coins is a lot of strange coins for one exotic Ingram, in my opinion. Uh, so I wouldn't do it, but it's totally up to you. Uh, next, we have Helmet in most light for the Titan. Uh, basically, if you you know know anything about Striker, this gives you um, uh, Death from Above, which is where when you're doing your Fist of Havoc, you know your Slam. This is where when you do it in midair, you can kind of you know Superman down to the ground somewhere. Um, I I don't really like this exotic that much just because of the fact that if you're using it in PVE, don't use it in PVE. I, I mean, you don't even use Striker anyways most of the time in PVE now, so I wouldn't use this, especially just because it's kind of a waste of an exotic when there's so many other good ones you could be using. Um, PVP, even if you do use this, it, it can be weird, and the reason I don't use it no more is sometimes if there's a group far off and you know you can Superman with, with Death from Above over to it, Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, and you just launch forward and slam the ground where nobody's at, and you've wasted your entire super. Or you're trying to just do it where you just leap forward, and it shoots you halfway across the map. So to me, this is kind of an iffy exotic, and I, don't, I really don't like it that much for um, gameplay in really any setting. Uh, next, you have Young Ahamkara Spine for the uh, Hunter. And basically, this just increases your trip mine uh, duration and gives you an extra one. This used to be really good back in the day, but now that they've nerfed the trip mine grenade that doesn't work as good as it used to, people don't really use it anymore, and it's not really as good. I never really used it, and I'm definitely not going to use it now, so it's kind of up to you. It's got Intellect and Discipline on it. Um, main perk being discipline this one's got intellect main perk being intellect and it's also got some strength to add um, if you want a little strength uh, next is light beyond nemesis i think this is the best armor piece they have this week or zer has this week at least uh, this allows you to revive faster be revived faster and then you also generate an extra orb on supers um, I don't like this one as much because there's other things that I like to use in its place. Now, during trials, sometimes I've used this before, and it's been a big help uh, just because people, especially if you're being sniper camped, people think that you know, you're going to take a little bit longer to get up, and you can get up faster and kind of get out of there sometimes. Um, and it's better if you're about to die too, you can get people up faster, get that overshield, maybe whoop around with a shotgun or something. But it comes with strength and intellect, main perk being intellect. Uh, and then moving on to Monte Carlo, uh, I, I like this gun decently. It's not my favorite gun, but the, basically the Monte Carlo perk, you deal damage with this weapon, or dealing damage with this weapon reduces your melee cooldown and grants a chance to fully charge your melee ability with each kill. This was really good back in the challenge of Elder's Days, and it's still good during Crucible if you want to keep your melee going. Maybe if you've got a shotgun going on with this as well, uh, kind of close quarters. Um, it's got decent range, it doesn't have a lot of impact, but it's got a high fire rate. So, I mean, this high caliber plus this, or you could even put the extra ammo on. Um, these two together is really good if you're wanting to go with a shotgun combo and kind of keep close quarters with people and keep that melee up. Uh, it's also got hip fire, uh, which is great for close quarters. So, really, this is a great shotgun close quarters combo gun if you want to use it. So, in my opinion, this is the best buy of the entire week. Uh, as far as Zer goes, you've also got your, your different drives for your blue sparrows um, if you want to try those out. I've only actually ever upgraded one, I think, in my history, and I've deleted it for a long time ago. Uh, we do have three coins back this week, and I'll quickly explain what's the deal with that. Uh, Bungie has said that basically Zer has a certain amount of things he can hold at once. And so since there's two options for uh, heavy ammo synth, now this and glass needles are going to be rotating out or glass needles and something else i'm assuming i'm not quite sure 
uh, but we don't have glass needles this week, so maybe next week we might have glass needles, or we might have these for a few weeks and no, and no glass needles for a few weeks. Honestly, if we have this for forever and no glass needles, I won't care because I don't even like glass needles. But you've also got uh, exotic shards um, for strange coins and motes of light for strange coins. So get those if you want as well. Um, I bought about 50 of these just a minute ago because I've been running low. Uh, so go get your fill because they might not be here for a few more weeks. Um, I know uh, Iron Banner is probably going to be coming up fairly soon in the next week or two. Um, so get these so you can get your exotics from playing the rounds in that. Um, and that's pretty much it for Zur this week, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you uh, if you liked it, please leave a like on the video. It really helps out. Comment below. Do you think that the Monte Carlo is a good PV, uh, P weapon with a shotgun? Um, I haven't used it much, but just based off the perks and everything, I feel like it would be a good combo to use. Um, if somebody out there has used it, let me know. I might try it myself. Um, also, uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed for daily destiny content, weekly destiny content. And I just actually started my second channel, the God's Elite 2. It'll be a uh, link for it in the description. I'm doing Clash of Clans, Boom Beach, uh, Call of Duty montages. I haven't got those up yet, but I'm working on them. Um, got tomorrow, got Batman Arkham Asylum, uh, Return to Arkham. It's coming out, walk through. It's about an hour long if you want to kill some time uh, while you're doing something. Uh, and then I think we'll do some other stuff next week as far as the walkthroughs and things like that. Next week I should have my first Call of Duty montage up. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Uh, follow me on Twitter at I am God's Elite, and I will see you in the next video.